And the big picture is that uh, Miami-Dade is, is relatively built out. There's really nothing more they can build there. Right. Um, but St. Lucie County is in a growth mode uh, once again, as we will be seeing here in the next few months, if in not a few years. Um, and we are going to have a similar uh, influx of tourism uh, to St. Lucie County, so that's a big concern of ours. Additionally, from a, a natural standpoint, the sands do flow from north to south and end up down there at some point in time over time. So, you know, when do we get our sand back? Uh, that's an issue. The other is, is a policy being developed for, you talked about a borrow uh, area uh, where the sand moves off the beaches and then ends up in some area. What is the policy of recollecting that sand and placing it back on their beaches long before they come back here? Right, in Miami-Dade County, the sand accumulates essentially in inlets. They have a very shallow shelf, so once it goes off that deep shelf, it's essentially not reclaimable, at least with current technology. But in the inlets, about 2 million cubic yards will accumulate every 25 years or so. The next renourishment will use one of those inlets to renourish their beach, and that is certainly our first choice. It's much less expensive for everyone involved. So that will always be the first choice for renourishment. Okay, then the, the, the $54 million question for me, uh, you've got $11 billion uh, to, uh, to the state of Florida with their beaches and so on and so forth, but from an environmental standpoint, uh, St. Lucie County and the, this Treasure Coast region is a large turtle nesting area, uh, and sand compatibility is, is a high uh, matter of importance uh, for our beaches, especially for uh, the turtle nesting area. I don't suspect that uh, Miami-Dade has many turtles that are nesting there these days. Uh, based on the number of tourism uh, that you've provided. Uh, so when the time comes, uh, if there is a selection process, uh, are we having uh, the ability to make sure that St. Lucie County has the highest quality sands uh, that will be uh, uh, acceptable for turtle nesting areas? Yes, I mean the, the turtle nesting and the compatibility is part of that permitting process. We can only put sand on the beach that's compatible with what you currently have because we don't want to change up the environment for the turtles. And by choosing only one or two potential borrow areas for Dade, those will, we're not going to go after anything else you've looked at. And those one or two that we select, we will work with you to not go after anything you think might be ben more beneficial for your project. I mean, the, the poster shows there's a whole lot of variety and availability in St. Lucie. And I think there's, I mean, the sentiment is there's plenty to go around. But certainly, and I've asked your engineers to let me know what you'd like us to stay away from. And I'm going to work with them on that, and, and that's certainly our intent. Well, as you say, 50, 50 years, uh, there's plenty to go around, but uh, 50 years is a long time, uh, but a short period of time the way we've seen erosion occur. Uh, I guess the other question is because, uh, you know, this sand is readily available off St. Lucie County, uh, will St. Lucie County uh, be provided some kind of uh, funding uh, for the future? Uh, because it right now doesn't cost us as much money to dredge and, and, and pull that sand uh, offshore. Uh, to help us uh, if we have to truck it or, or ship it or do what Miami Day is going to do, it's going to cost us money. Uh, so I would suggest with $11 billion uh, in revenue coming out of uh, Miami Dade, they certainly could share some uh, revenue sources uh, for St. Lucie County and our residents. Sure, that, that may be more of a council to council type discussion, but again, we're only going to take the potentially use the borrow areas that are furthest from your shores, which would be the most expensive for you to go to anyway. So we're hoping to not impact your costs for, I mean, with 78 million cubic yards, you might have 200 so or so years available for St. Lucie right now. Of course, we're asking to, to use some of that, but no impacts in the foreseeable future economically. And I assure you this is a reason, one of the reasons why for me, and I know there's a lot of people in the audience today about 750. This is one of the reasons why I intend to stay in 750 because I want to have a voice at the table when other counties are coming to our county to uh, secure sands or any other resources uh, that are come available uh, in the region. So I must have a voice for the people of St. Lucie County, and I'm glad that we're here, and we'll see you again in the next meetings. Sure. So thank you. Thank you. Do you want to give a recap on the money?